We are in Al Jala Street in Sheikh Radwan area where the Israeli occupation forces caused significant destruction and fires in people's houses. One statue of a rocket has been destroyed. Cars and commercial vehicles have been set on fire. Israeli forces are stationed in Al Jala Street near the Ibn Al Haytham pharmacy and continue to deny people access. It's now considered a close military zone. People are now gathering in Abu Iskandar area, waiting to be allowed to go back to their homes in Al Radwan Street, west of Al Jala. You can see here the trucks left by tanks in front of this bakery. The tank entered Al Jala Street and reached a rocket statue and began firing artillery at the residential blocks. The situation was very tough because of the tanks that were at the end of the street. While we were besieged in the house for four days, there was intense artillery fire that led to the death of a child. The tanks were firing all the time. I went to get some water. If we had water, we wouldn't even leave the house. The tanks withdrew from this and some of the surrounding areas of Sheikh Radwan. People are able to leave their homes and are now on their way to getting some water. It is actually salt water that is coming out of a well and there's no desalination. It is now being used as drinking water. I'm feeding my children some fava beans. There's nothing else left. Where should we go? What can we do? We want our life back. We are suffering from water and food shortages. There is no sanitation and no shelter. We are displaced. We will not leave this land. We will remain here despite the occupation and its allies and all the countries supporting the occupation. We will remain in Palestine, even if this means we are going to die. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.